Hello, Algebraists. Here we are back. This video is a quick, uh, a quick overview of what's changed after we've moved online. Um, how the homework is going to be. Uh, some other stuff that's different about about Canvas, uh, and and some other details. Um, so. First of all, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody's healthy and staying inside. Um, and I hope everybody's taking care of each other, finding some time to uh, talk to friends on uh, video chat or, or just texting or whatever, and also keeping some good routines and staying healthy. Um, not just eating pasta and toilet paper, which is what it seems like at the grocery store. There's no pasta toilet paper anywhere. I hope that's not you guys that bought it all. Anyways, um, so what's going on in our new online class? So instead of meeting together as a class each day during regular class time, uh, then instead each day you're going to do class notes, the same class notes we had in class, uh, with the help of these videos according to the Google Calendar. So um, if you look at the Google Calendar, if you're watching this on Monday, if today is Monday for you, then what you should be working on this morning is the F.1 and F.2 class notes. So there's a video for examples one through three, and then another little video for the exercises one through five. Um, and for the examples, uh, those are the ones where I'm trying to explain something. It really is important to watch those all the way through and take notes as you're doing it. And because they will go a little faster than in class, you might need to pause it sometimes so you can write things down or think about it, make sure you understand something I just said or something I just wrote down uh, before it goes by too fast. Um, and then with the exercises, these are exercises you should be doing uh, in your class notes before you watch the video about them. Um, you can use the video to check your answers. If you can get all the exercises yourself, that's great. Um, you can just use the video to check your answers. You can just like skip through it. You don't even have to watch the whole thing if you got it all, just to skip through it to see what the answers are and see if you got it right. And if you got some wrong, then uh, then that's okay. Uh, go back to that explanation of that problem and you can fix your mistake. If you're stuck on the exercises, use the exercise video as a way to get unstuck. But as soon as you know what to do and you can do something yourself, then pause the video and keep trying yourself. And then watch the video to check your answers once you got them. So you're going to be going back and forth between writing on your paper for these and getting and, and watching the, the videos. So so those are the videos you're going to be doing every day. I recommend doing them during our normal class time. Uh, and the reason for that is because during our normal class time, well, it's just one hour a day. I'm going to do it 8.30 to 9.30. I'm going to be doing office hours just for this class. And those are going to be held in Confer Zoom. So if you, from Canvas, if you click the Confer Zoom link, it takes you to this page, which is loading a little slowly because I'm in my backyard. Uh, and all right, so you'll see like a calendar sort of thing here where there's Monday, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. is our first Confer Zoom office hours meeting. Um, so if you're working on stuff during that time, you can just pop into the confer zoom and ask a question when you have it, or you could just hang out in confer zoom and chat, uh, and work on your own. Well, I'm in there talking to somebody else, um, and just take part in the office hours and ask a question when you have it. Um, you're welcome to stay there the whole time. Um, and this is a good way for us to like meet at, and connect as a class. So uh, that's Confer Zoom. Let's see. Uh, if we click on modules here, uh, stuff is organized a little differently. This wasn't here before. Um, so for F.1 and F.2, which is what we're doing today on Monday, April 30th, there's also links to the videos here, so you don't have to do it through Google Calendar. Um, and you can tell what day you should be watching these videos because there's also a quiz here. So you can click on this to watch the videos, and then if it's March 30th, this quiz is due today at noon. 
at 12 p.m. Um, so you got to watch the video and take the quiz about that video every morning. Now these quizzes are going to be super basic quizzes. They're going to be multiple choice quizzes that are not, I shouldn't say super basic. They're, they're basic. They're checking if you understand the main concepts of the videos. Uh, and this is going to be like two or three or four questions about each section. Um, and those are going to count towards your homework points. Then there's also discussions for each section. Uh, or e I'm going to have discussions for each chapter, but there's only one section that we're doing. We're combining a point one and a point two. Um, so I will give you extra credit homework points for uh, answering questions here. So this is a good place if uh, you don't quite get the help you need during office hours because you were busy then uh, or, or you're working on a homework problem later and you want to get some help. It's you can ask here and I'm going to give other students a day or so to answer the questions before I jump in and answer them because answering questions is a really good way to get better at math. It's better than doing math problems. Um, so I, and I will give you some extra credit doing that and uh, the details about that are all here I'm not going to read it all but there are discussions for each chapter all right so back again in modules there's the same thing for 2.6 um, there's so this is going to be on Wednesday April 1 uh, it's not an April Fool's video this is about systems of linear equations so you'll watch that video on Wednesday and take that quiz. The quiz is due before noon, before 12 p.m. on that Wednesday. And then on Thursday, there's D.1 and D.2 videos, and then a quiz on that. Um, and if you need to get ahead a couple days, like if you want to only work on stuff on math like two days a week uh, because of the way your schedule is, that's okay too. You don't actually, because this is asynchronous, you don't actually have to do it every day you can get ahead a day or two and then if you're busy the next day because you're babysitting or I don't know um, whatever coronavirus stuff you're busy with uh, then then that's okay so let's see so uh, let's see. what else do we need to look at here so there's the office hours I went over that uh, midterm exams are going to be online uh, probably here on Canvas. I'm not exactly sure what the format's going to be. We are going to have a midterm next week on stuff up through 2.6. Um, so they're, they, they will be open book and open notes exams, uh, but you are not allowed to work with other students or discuss the exams with other students. So you're going to be on the honor system for that. Um, the final exam uh, will probably be using Proctorio, which is the program that uses your webcam to check that you're not cheating, um, or we may be able to meet in person by June. So I don't know about the final exam yet. That's still up in the air. But the, uh, the exams are probably going to be here on Canvas, and I'll announce them as they come. Um, the homework is on Wiley Plus. The regular homework is on Wiley Plus. Uh, it's going to be due at 10 p.m. Uh, two class days after that section was on the calendar. So instead of it being due, being due at like class time, I'm trying to encourage you all to keep a regular sleeping schedule. So I'm making it due at 10 p.m. so you don't stay up too late working on homework. Um, but you still have like three days to do it. There's still like, for example, uh, the F.1 videos you're doing Monday morning because there's the quiz on that Monday morning. Then you'll have all of Monday to work on the F.1 homework, then all of Tuesday, and then all of Wednesday before 10 p.m. So you basically have three days to work on every homework assignment, um, and even more if it goes in over the weekend. So, uh, and yeah, so the homework is here on Wiley Plus. Um, uh, I've talked to a few people about this. If you're, if you haven't logged into Wiley Plus yet, you need to do so as soon as possible. Um, if you lost your access code. If you bought the paper textbook and then threw away the access code, uh, unfortunately, you're going to need to buy another access code. Um, it's it's going to be $60 uh, and 
that's where the, the homework and you got to do it because this is where the homework is there's there's really no good way for me to grade paper homework over the internet so um there, there's a lot of good things about wiley plus uh it will tell you if you're right or wrong immediately um it gives you like links to the proper section in the textbook it has some other resources in there uh you get three tries with each homework assignment Sorry, not sorry. With each homework problem, I meant to say three tries with each homework problem. After the first try, it's going to give you a ten percent penalty if you get it wrong. The reason for that is I'm just trying to encourage you all to check your answers. Checking your answers is always a really good habit with math, like I always talk about. Um, so try to get it right on the first try. If not, you've got a few more. You got two more tries after that, um, and. Yeah, the due dates are here to, to do the problem. Uh, you just click on the links. Whoops. One, two. Okay, I'll, I'll, you just click on the link and it opens up uh, the problems here. Here they come. Um, this is the list of all the problems. You just click on them and enter in your answers it looks a little different to me because it's already showing me the answers because i'm a teacher so you're going to have to enter in the numbers and then some of them are drop down menus where you enter your answers that way okay so so that's where the homework is let's see what else do we need to look at um there will be online tutoring available with tutors in the cas through canvas through this this part of canvas uh I'm not exactly how that's going to work. I think there's going to be like a button in here or it might be a different Canvas course. Like you go to your courses and like tutoring comes up here and then you access the tutor somehow that way. Um, they're still working out the details on that. But when I know how the tutoring is going to be available, I will let you know. Um, and let's see, there's still the link to the folder with the class notes. It has all the completed class notes in it. The syllabus is here. Um, there, there is one important change to the syllabus I should mention. The homework is worth 20% of the grade now, whereas it used to be 15% of the grade. Um, and the fi final exam is worth 5% less. The reason why homework is a little bit more is because now there's the homework quizzes, or not homework quizzes, but the, the quizzes for the videos that you should be doing right after, right after you do the class notes. Um, so that's a little bit more homework than there was before. So I'm making it worth a little bit more of the grade. This is kind of like, instead of class participation, you're getting this five points for, for those class notes quizzes. All right, so I also wanna say I have a little bit of advice for uh, taking an online class and also for staying home all the time uh, during this quarantine situation. Um, the first thing is with an online class, it's good. It's not any easier. It's not any less work than a regular class. Um, there are a lot of distractions that might be stopping you from doing your work, but you're going to need to have the discipline and a regular schedule so that so that you are doing the work. Um, and it is a little bit more flexible, which is a good thing as long as you're as long as you're actually doing the work. Meaning. Some people can get through the class notes a little bit faster. Uh, some people might need twice as much time as other people. You are going to have to be monitoring how much you're understanding and doing the class notes until you get it. Uh, so, so it is good that it's flexible, but I'm not in there looking over your shoulder to keep you on task. You gotta be doing that yourself. Uh, and part of that is keeping a regular schedule. What I recommend for the, and this is important, not just for this class, not just for math class, but for life during these weird times in general. It's really easy when you are at home um, and you got stuff you have to do this week and you're gonna do it sometime and just to do it when you feel like doing it. And if you do that, a lot of people can fall into bad habits um, that lead to procrastination and maybe just general depression. Um, 
it, it's really healthy for your mental health to keep a regular schedule. That means wake up at the same time every day, just like you did during the semester. Um, and you're going to have to to make it to my office hours because you do want to be working on math during my office hours every day so you can pop in and ask a question. So, so wake up at a regular time. Uh, I think waking up early so you're up when it's light out I think is generally good for you. Um, what else? Uh, and, and, and so what am I trying to say? Uh, it's kind of late for me, so I'm up later than I usually am right now. So, yeah, keep the regular schedule. Include eating in it. Try to eat breakfast at the same time. Uh, include exercise in it. It's perfectly safe to go jogging outside, go on a bike ride, as long as you're not in a crowded place where you're, you can keep some distance from other people. Um, so so keep that schedule. I, it's good for you. It's going to make you feel better, and it's going to keep you on top of your classes. Because if, if you don't, what people do sometimes is they, whatever, whatever their bad habits are, whether it's too much time with video games or too much time watching TV or too much drinking or smoking pot or too much eating, I don't know what it is with you, um, but everybody's got things that are bad habits that they do a little bit too much of sometimes. It's really easy when you're at home to, to do way too much of that. Um, and keeping a schedule where where you're working on your math and working on your other classes at the same times every day just like the regular semester uh is a good way to to stay sane and stay healthy and stay on top of your shit so with that in mind uh i hope to see you in office hours at 8 30 and keep washing your hands keep not touching your face and take care of yourselves bye <laughs>